Jake and I are experiencing our first Christmas in Germany this year. Join us as we learn more about German Christmas traditions and compare them to American ones. Yeah, children in a sack or something like that? I need your help. <laughs> Technically, we did already live in Germany during Christmas time, but we were able to buy tickets and go back to the US to surprise our families and spend Christmas with them. So we decided to try some German Christmas traditions this year. One thing that I really love about German Christmas compared to the US Christmas is that German Christmas celebrations start a lot earlier with something called Advent. It is like the four Sundays leading up to Christmas and there's a couple of different things you do. The one thing that Americans might actually be familiar with when it comes to Advent is an Advent calendar. <laughs> yeah, so there's a ton of different kinds of these in Germany and the US usually it's just like some chocolates or something like that. And yes, there are a ton of chocolate and candy advent calendars, but what I think is awesome is I hear you can even find beer advent calendars, wine advent calendars, there's like toy advent calendars. So I was a little late in buying mine this year, so I kind of had slim pickings, although I think I got a pretty good one and I'm really excited about having to catch up with it. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with what this is, there are windows kind of cut into the goodie box, one through 24, I believe. And you're supposed to open each window starting on December 1st, leading all the way up to December 24th. So I need to find number one. Okay, so, ooh. Mm. There's something in that. I don't think it's alcohol. <laughs> For those of you who read and speak German, you probably knew that. It probably says that somewhere on the packaging, but if it's not obvious enough already, I don't speak German or read German, so I didn't, this was a complete surprise. <laughs> Pretty good, yep. I think I'm gonna have to catch up on that a little bit slower than I'd anticipate. <laughs> I need water. Anyways, one of the Advent traditions that you might not be familiar with is the Advent wreath. They're really pretty small wreaths and you can either make your own or you can buy them already pre-made at the flower shop. The point is to have four candles embedded in the wreath. Starting the fourth Sunday before Christmas, that might be a little confusing, and the point is to light a candle each Sunday leading up to Christmas. Finally light the whole thing on Christmas and that's something that you don't often see in the United States. Another tradition that I wanted to talk about is one surrounding Krampus. In the last few years, I feel like I've seen some like scary holiday movies being made about Krampus, but I, I thought it was just something kind of made up by Hollywood. Turns out that it's completely wrong. It's actually a very long-standing tradition, and I think they celebrate it more kind of in southern Germany or like in the Bavaria area. So how it goes, on December 6th, I believe, St. Nicholas comes into town and rewards all the good children, like with little goodies, candies, toys, things like that. But he's accompanied by Krampus, which is supposed to be this like Christmas demon or something like that. I don't know, he's really scary looking. He has horns and claws and he's all furry. But yeah, so he is, <laughs> supposed to like come along and put bad children in a sack or something like that or like give them rods I don't know for the adults they've kind of come up with this activity they do like Krampus runs whereas people will like dress up as Krampus and chase you around the town <laughs> it sounds crazy but it also sounds like a lot of fun um, I think a lot of it was canceled this year because of COVID. Hopefully we'll get to do that before we leave at some point. I think I'd probably have to have a few more of these before I went to a Krampus run. Hmm. I'm gonna um, polish some of these off and then we will start with the next tradition. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna try what I think might be the coolest German Christmas tradition that we've heard of. So on the night of December 5th, you're supposed to put out a boot outside of your front door. And then old St. Nicholas will come by and fill it with some goodies. So I've chosen my favorite boot. I have a really good feeling about this one. And let's see, tomorrow morning, hopefully I'll open the door and we'll find some good stuff in there.
Mm. You gotta wake up. Mm. Your boot, you gotta wake up. Oh. Oh. Did St. Nick come? I don't know, we gotta go check. Okay. So Jake has been particularly excited about trying this one. <laughs> I bought this like a couple days ago and I've been having to slap his hand to stay out of it every day until we could film this finally. Yeah, I've tried to eat it at least three times. <laughs> okay, so this is a uh, Stollen. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's this traditional German, I think it's a dessert, it's some kind of bread and typically it has nuts and like raisins and stuff in it and then it's coated in powdered sugar, that's why it's all white. I don't know if I got the one with raisins and nuts. I smell raisins and nuts. Oh, you yeah. did? Okay, because I was afraid that I got the one that's like butter strola, so it's just like the regular bread without the nuts. So I think there's raisins and nuts in there. It smells <laughs> We're about to delicious. Find out. Yeah, okay, so you can do the honors. Okay. Oh yes, it's got raisins and nuts. Yep, raisins and nuts. We'll cut this piece in half. All right, there's yours. I hope it's not stale. I hope we didn't wait too long. It might be. Oh, but okay, that's all right. We'll see. You ready? Oh my god. Mmm. Holy cow. Not stale. No, nah, not stale. Wow. That's really good. I got it from this local bakery downtown. I know you can find them in boxes in the grocery store, like at a regular grocery store, but I wanted to ball out and get a really nice one from the German grocery baker. This is probably equivalent to the U.S. fruitcake, right? Mm. I mean, not that it tastes the same, but just the, like, the tradition around mm. it. Which is funny, because I've never actually even had a fruit cake in America, but it's supposed to be some kind of holiday cake, but... For somebody who's eaten fruit cake every Christmas, this is definitely better than American fruit cake. Oh, so it, it is like a real tradition? It's, oh, the fruit cake? Yeah. yeah oh! At least in my family it was. Yeah. So, um, I have a question. Mm. Do you have any, like... Christmas holiday traditions that y'all had growing up? We did advent calendars every year. Christmas Eve, always got to pick out one present to open. That was it. Oh, that's cool. What about you? Um, hmm. Remember when we would play the lights game? Oh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so my family came up with this game where it's a race to see who can find the most Christmas decorations. Yeah, but it never ends. Like, you guys don't even keep score. Like, I, it drives me nuts. Driving around at the holidays. But we Christmas. know. We no, know who you're wins. Getting score. You're just driving around. Lights, lights, lights. You just do it the whole time. We want to hear what some of y'all's Christmas traditions are. So if you have anything that's unique just to your family, let us know in the comments below. Maybe we'll try some of them out if we find some really fun ones. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this was awesome. So we'll have to get another one next year. We'll get another one this year. What are you talking about? <laughs> Christmas is still over a week away. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Ugly Christmas sweaters. <laughs> so it's really popular to host a Christmas party and to have a competition to see who can wear like the ugliest or most tacky Christmas outfit or like sweater. Yes, yeah, so this is just a really fun American tradition. You can find them everywhere in the US. I got this baby at Target and somewhere else. Not really sure where, but but yeah, this is one this is one American tradition that I think is actually really fun. But the one thing, no matter how hard America tries, they will never be able to recreate the best Christmas tradition. And that one is the Christmas market. Yeah, so I'm not gonna go into details about those here because we've already made two videos about those. But if you wanna see them, check them out. I'm gonna do that thing where they pop up somewhere on the screen. They're really cool, so check those out too. All right, so one of my personal favorite Christmas traditions that we've started doing uh, since moving to Germany are these little Christmas smokers. Just take this off. I have some flavored incense right here. This is the baked apple flavor. It smells like Christmas to me. There. and the house is already starting to smell good. between 
between the US and German Christmases is kind of what we do with our Christmas trees. I think fake Christmas trees are more prevalent in the US than they are in Germany. In Germany, people definitely prefer live Christmas trees over fake Christmas trees. And that's not to say that no one in the US has a real one or that no one in Germany has a fake one. It's just a matter of preference, I guess. We have a fake one because I'm very paranoid about home fires and things like that. But one of the big differences is that in the US, I feel like people decorate for Christmas and like put up their Christmas trees earlier and earlier. This year, I feel like people almost skip Thanksgiving all together. But in Germany, a lot of people don't put up their tree until either like the 1st of December or some people even do it Christmas Eve. One thing that I learned recently was that it's popular or at least it used to be popular to decorate your Christmas tree, and this is in Germany, with real candles, real fire. And I'm sure they know what they're doing because they've been doing it for hundreds of years. Uh, yeah, but you just won't catch me doing that. Yeah, so this is ours. that Jake and I actually aren't going to be able to partake in this year is exchanging gifts. And that's because we've decided to go on a trip instead of actually getting each other things. But I'm super excited about that. I really cannot wait to go to this location. I'm not going to tell you where it is because we're going to make a video about it. But the best part about it is that my family is actually going to come with us. But speaking of my family, I need your help. I thought it would be a lot of fun to get together a wide variety of the best German candies and snacks. So I'm asking for all of my German subscribers and watchers out there to please drop down in the comments below and let me know what your favorite candy and snack is. I want to make sure I'm getting the best things and I don't want to miss anything that's considered, you know, like a German candy treasure. So anyways, back to the topic at hand. So one of the biggest differences when it comes to exchanging gifts in America versus in Germany is a lot of people in Germany actually exchange gifts on Christmas Eve, which is December 24th. December 24th tends to be the more intimate holiday in Germany, um, but in the United States, people tend to open up gifts on December 25th. That's because Santa comes and brings all of the toys and goodies that he's been working on all year round on the night of Christmas Eve while all the kids are asleep and puts them under the tree for them to find when they wake up in the morning on Christmas Day or December 25th. But I've had a lot of fun so far and I've really only scratched the surface when it comes to German Christmas traditions. I know that there's so many more out there. But yeah, so Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, Frohe Weihnachten, and stay safe. <laughs> 